Hey guys, what's going on? So around a month ago, I went live and unboxed the Lenovo Yoga Book. So I've constantly been using it for around three to four weeks now after unboxing it. So here's what I think about it so far and basically if you should buy it or not. Before I start, if you want to see some really cool things and some sneak peeks on the channel, follow me on Snapchat at tadithashell 566 I'll leave the code somewhere around here. And yeah, so after all that being said, let's see what the Lenovo Yoga Book has to offer. So my first impressions of the Yoga Book was that it's unique in a way that you don't see every single day. From looking and working like a real book to the metallic hinges and using it for notes, everything inside is basically amazing, so let's dig a bit deeper. So you know I was talking about the metallic hinges previously, well those are pretty damn cool. If you know what a spiral notebook looks like with the hinges, it's basically like that but with the fewer hinges and better build quality. This honestly gives a really special look that you really can't find in any other transformable laptop or tablets. It does rotate 360 degrees, but one thing to note is that it does not protract. Also, you might be thinking it looks like a laptop because of the keyboard area. Well, you're right, but there's an additional feature to it. An area where the keyboard is normally is also the place where you can write things, just like a notebook on this 2-in-1. You can use this for school notes, drawing, or basically just doodling around. I think this is a really good use of space and a good function for this 2-in-1. But if you want it to function as a keyboard, you can turn on a switch and it will turn on the virtual touchscreen keyboard known as Hollow, which again is a really good use of space and dual functionality. Now let's take a look at the display. It is a 1920 by 1200 display, which is a bit unusual. However, I feel like the quality looking at the screen is very good. The screen is 10.1 inches, so it's definitely a good size for watching videos. However, there are thick bezels, which might bring you down. Now taking a look around the yoga book, on the left side, you have a mini HDMI to connect to an external display, a micro SD card slot for expansion, along with the micro USB to charge the device. On the other side, you have your headphone jack and the power and volume rockers. Both the sides also have stereo like speakers and speaking about that it's actually really nice. So you know how I said the display was a bit unusual, well the speakers make me forget about the display and makes everything balance out at the end. Since we took a look on the outside I think it's fair enough to take a look on the inside. It has an Intel Core Atom quad core processor clocked in at 1.4 GHz paired up with 4 gigs of RAM along with a 64 GB storage which is expandable again. The battery also gave me around 11 to 13 hours which is pretty close to what they mentioned being 12 to 15 hours. Overall this is a really good 2 in 1 for everything that it offers along with having a super slim body. For $500 if you guys are looking into a 2 in 1 you should possibly consider this. One thing I forgot to mention is that the version I have is Android and it has another version of Windows but I think you should get the Android version as it's more suitable for the tablet and how things work and obviously it's optimized better. So that was basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe for more similar content like this and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.